Hello, welcome to another video of Winning Wall Street's Money. It's Sunday, October 18th. Going to be discussing stocks, technology stocks. Going to be looking at the weekly time frame for one year. So each candlestick will be one week and the duration would be for one year. Looking first at the equity indexes. Let's look at the four most popular ones. The S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, the Dow Jones, and the Russell 2000. A reminder again, the NASDAQ 100 and the Dow Jones, Dow Jones is 30 companies, 30 largest publicly traded companies in the United States. These two index, the NASDAQ 100 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average are inside the S&P 500 index, where the Russell 2000 is not. Accumulation distribution. These stocks, equity indexes have been going higher, high, but many underlying stocks in them have not been. So here's the buzzword, the keyword manipulation. Institutions that manage other people's money, be it mutual funds, pension funds, hedge funds, insurance companies, if they feel risk and don't wanna buy the underlying stocks, they could go into stock ETFs. So SPX is the cash equity index. The stock ETF for that is SPY. You can see this because it's transparent in mutual funds and other financial institutions disclose it by law that they own stock ETFs. They might own the S&P 500, the QQQ, the DIA or IWM or other equity indexes. Yeah, you're paying them to do something easy sometimes and they're still charging you. So if they go and buy the stock ETF, Sierra Papa Yankee, the S&P 500, the index policies are after they have a certain amount of money in there, they can only keep so much in cash, like a mutual fund. When you read the disclosure, they might say they will only keep 1%, 3% or 5%, some number of cash to rest invested in equities or bonds or whatever the policy is. So these stock ETFs as well only keep a certain amount in cash, and most of it in the stocks in the S&P 500. So when a big institution comes or several institutions come buying Sierra Papa Yankee, SPY, and then a certain amount of money is going to have to be buying the underlying stocks. So that stock ETF would be on the hook for buying the stocks, not the institution. They may feel they don't want to be a risk in Apple, Amazon, eBay. They'd rather be diversified and have this. So you're about to see some stocks that are going lower, low, when these index going higher, high. It's a divergency. It's a single. Yeah, it's a short-term manipulation the way they do it because eventually when they're not buying the stock ETF anymore and no one's going to be buying on the ask anymore for the underlying stocks, the market makers, specialists will step away from the bid and prices will keep going lower until someone comes in and wants to buy it. So again, for the weekly charts, red for the S&P, red for the NASDAQ, red for the Dow Jones, red for the Na Russell 2000. They are all below the record highs. Let's go straight to the weeklies now of technology. This is communications equipment. Again, this is a weekly chart for one year. So this whole duration is one year. Each candle is one week. Juliet, November, Papa, Romeo, Jupiter Networks. Here's the all-time high for the year. We are down here. Look at that staircase pattern consolidation. Lower staircase pattern consolidation. Lower inside candle for the week. Indecision. It's going down. Huge consolidation here, but it's going down. This is the demand zone. Demand zones mean they were prior buyers stepping in there buying it. So if and when it goes down there, that's a potential trade either. Cisco Systems. This is also in the NASDAQ 100 in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, as well as the S&P 500. Look at that, we're in a consolidation. The prior consolidation was here. Huge sell-off, lower consolidation, a lot of selling. And here's the demand zone. It's bearish, way off its highs for the year. Take note, these are the bearish ones. Let's keep looking until we find the bullish ones. If you're bullish, if you're trading long or if you're trading short. Ericsson, Echo, Romeo, India, Charlie did very well since the lows of March. Then came a consolidation. The end of July, August, smart money was selling, dumping, broke down, new consolidation, staircase pattern, lower low. Huge volume for the week. 
red candle. Look all these red candles in here, small bodies. That's called a sign of distribution. Smart money selling. Somebody's buying. Yeah, not the smart money. Smart money's been unloading it, selling it. So here's a supply zone. See this red horizontal line? Every time it's been up there, sellers have been stepping in. So trade opportunity, consolidation, staircase lower, lower. Maybe look for a bearish trade. November, Oscar, Kilo, Nokia. Look at that. It's tight little candle, spinning tops, consolidation, distribution, smart money was selling. Huge drop, smack down. They ran out fast, get out of that. Then the next week it gapped down, consolidation. Similar to the Erks and look at that consolidation, smart money selling. Looks like it's gonna roll over more. Sure, it might pop up, go a little bit higher. I would look again to be shorting on weakness when it goes up inside candle for week indecision. Let's go to the next. That'd be the computer hardware. Lima, Oscar, Goff, India, Logitech. Near its all-time high for the year. Here's a winner. Currently a winner. Outperforming many of the other ones. Consolidation broke out to the upside. Consolidation broke out to the upside. When I say consolidations, I'll be looking to buy inside those consolidations. And you're looking for a tightening of it. A sprocket where it's getting tighter and tighter for looking for that force to break out. So tiding range, tiding range, broke out. And there was a the nice trade. But now it's red for the week, struggling around the 80 and red for the week. So maybe the opportunity might be on a pullback, a weakness to look to go long. Hotel Papa, Quebec, HP, staircase pattern, consolidation, breakout to the upside, staircase pattern, consolidation. Here's a prior demand zone. It's actually green for the week, struggling between a little 20. So break above that, you might have new buyers, a pullback, retest the demand zone and a failure to break below that. And then a bounce off that might have new buyers. Delta, Echo, Lima, Lima, Dell Computer, huge government contracts they have. That's a lot of their brunt of their income, not just selling personal computers. Look how they go running up for the year, near the all time highs for the year. Look at these staircase patterns, consolidation, consolidation, break out to the upside. Consolidation break out to the upside, consolidation break out to the upside. Have you been long this? What are you trading? Are you trading in something equal or better than this chart? That's good. Are you trading in something that's worse than this? Get out of it. You should be in winners if you're trading in the long side. Don't hold losers because they could go lower. Whiskey, Delta, Charlie, Western Digital, struggling bad, huge consolidation, a lot of smart money selling. Broke out hard to the downside, huge volume. Consolidation again, two weeks in a row, inside candles, indecision. Small little body, huge volume, distribution, smart money is selling. I'll be looking for short entries on that one. Coming into earnings, wow. Maybe they're even gonna goose it up for a while. That's called a goosing it up. And maybe they'll say some fundamentals news to encourage new buyers when the old smart money is selling it to the new buyers and then on or after earnings, maybe it's gonna have that huge sell off and someone's gonna be trapped like rats up here. Mm -hmm. Sierra Tango X-Ray, Seagate Technology. Broke out of acceleration the past two weeks, green for the week, way off its highs. And here was a prior supply zone, sellers are up here. Let's go look at the internet content and information stocks. Sierra, November, Alpha, Papa, Snap. For the year, it's near the all-time highs. Look at that consolidation, broke out to the upside, do a new trending to the upside. Interesting. Yep, Snap. What are they doing that they're doing so well in first ones that actually make hardware products? Interesting. Big disconnect in uh, technology. Uh-huh. I guess they're doing good, making money. Goff, Romeo, Unifor, Bravo, Grubhub. Huge move for the week, green candle for the week, all time high for the year. Consolidation pattern, consolidation pattern, staircase up, huge breakout. Look at that, that was a coil. Coil, 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 broke out. 
Wow. Good job out of them. Again, that's a winner. We'll maintain the momentum. Well, if you're bullish, again, you might look for a pullback on weakness on the faster time frames, and then look for the trigger to go long. Like to know what those are? Join my Patreon. Papa, India, November, Sierra, Pinterest. Two red candles for the week, back to back. Higher highs, higher lows, but both weeks have sold off and below the mid range of the candles. So wonder when that's gonna really start reversing because again, it's not being sustainable. Every week, making higher highs, but people are panicking and selling, but again, not making it go new lows. So when are we gonna get a green candle? I don't know. But this could be a little demand zone. And if it touches that again, it bounces, maybe opportunity to buy. If it breaks, maybe the opportunity goes short. Staircase pattern's up right now. So they're looking good. Tango, Whiskey, Tango, Romeo, Twitter. Never heard of them. What do they do? Wink, wink. Yep, staircase pattern, higher high. Two candles in a row, weekly's red. Huge sell-off there too. Engulfed the entire other one there. So we'll see what happens come the new week. It's gonna roll over. But this is a consolidation it's building here. We just see a demand zone over here. So we test that demand zone if it holds, might be the opportunity to go long. Interesting, a lot of these uh, stocks don't make physical products or services. They're software-based marketing. And that's how they're making money. Wow, interesting. Groupon, Goff, Romeo, Papa, November. Very disappointing, look at them, wow. Here's the high for the year, all the way back in February. Struggling, massive sell-off. Sierra, Sierra, Tango, X-Ray, Shutterstock. Yep, consolidation, coil, broke out to the upside. New consolidation broke out to the upside. Hitting all-time highs for the year. Much better than the uh, stock equity indexes. The NASDAQ 100, the Dow Jones, and the S&P 500. They are not at all-time highs this week. But several of these stocks have, I showed you, and several of them are not. Let's go semiconductors. Hardware products, really important. And look at Intel, Intel. India, November, Tango, Charlie. Wow, struggling. November, Delta, sorry, November, Victor, Delta, Alpha, running high, outperforming Intel. Alpha, Sierra, Mike, Lima, all-time high, broke out acceleration, red for the week, back inside acceleration. Alpha, Victor, Gov, Oscar, also broke out acceleration, but red for the week, all-time high for the year. Tango, X-Ray, November, all-time high for the week, for, for the year. Broke out acceleration, strong, wow. Lima, Romeo, Charlie, X-Ray, coming back in to retest the all-time high for the year. Some more semiconductors. Alpha, Mike, Alpha, Tango, narrowing back to all-time high. Alpha, Din, Alpha Delta India, huge consolidation for, for several months. Yeah, that's not a trend, struggling. Cree, Charlie, Romeo, Echo, Echo. AMD. Mike, Uniform. Qualcomm, wow, they're doing good. 